What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has probably been about a month since I decided to do a Kmart shop with me. Last time I did it, it was a massive fail because my local Kmart had zero stock. So I haven't been basically since my last shop with me because of the stock situation that it's been going on but I have no idea if it's replenished the shelves and if the stock is good again um, but all I've been hearing about is the new stuff in the catalogue so I'm thinking that they've got new stuff in the store now so i decided i would take the boys with me because well it's school holidays and my husband is working today so i have to take them with me and go to kmart and see what they've got in my local kmart it might be nothing the shelves might be completely empty still or we might be seeing a lot of new stuff so i'm going to get going i'm going to grab my pram grab the boys get out of, my, out of the car walk to kmart and we're gonna go shopping so this is going to be interesting so let's do this well we've got into Kmart I had to go get a different trolley because Kmart does not have baby trolley so the first thing we've come to is the bathroom section because we've recently done our bathroom I've got new towels but I need a new bath mat and last time I came they had zero and now they have some so they've got some really cute ones I see even though they haven't got them in the color that the colors that I have in my bathroom, they have got some cute ones in. Is it a strawberry or is it? So they've got this one here, which is a very cute. We can't figure it out if it's a peach. Frederick thinks it's an apple. But it's really cute i do love it but it's the wrong colors for my bathroom because my bathrooms are a warm tone and this is a way too cool tone for my bathroom but, but I, have to make color. I was thinking this one here because it's more of a neutral color i do like it i do like that one We've got this one here already in our household and this colour and I wouldn't mind another one like this because they absorb a lot of water but they don't have any colours that I want. None of the warm tone ones and black, I don't want black so they don't have any warm tone. If there was like a rust or something or an orange I would have got it but they don't have them. So maybe, maybe we'll just get this one today. So the first thing we've come to is the bathroom section because we've recently done our bathroom. I've got new towels, but I need a new bath mat. And last time I came, they had zero and now they have some. So they've got some really cute ones I see. I want that one. Even though they haven't got them in the color that, the colors that I have in my bathroom, they have got some cute ones. So they've got this one here, which is a very cute. We can't figure it out if it's a peach. Frederick thinks it's an apple but it's really cute I do love it but it's the wrong colors for my bathroom because my bathrooms are a warm tone and this is a way too cool tone for my bathroom I was thinking this one here because it's more of a neutral color I do like it I do like that one we've got this one here already in our household and this color and I wouldn't mind another one like this because they absorb a lot of water but they don't have any colors that I want none of the warm tone ones and black I don't want black so they don't have any warm tone if there was like a rust or something or an orange I would have got it but they don't have them we've just popped over to the furniture section and I do have to say that the stock is actually looking very promising today so i've seen that they've brought out these new ottomans which are really pretty we actually already have an ottoman from kmart but not this one and we need a new one because frederick has jumped on ours and squashed it right down but i'm not going to get one today um because i'm trying to be smart and just get the things i actually really need i want to so, get them i really like it but I'm not gonna get it. But they've got these beautiful new like faux leather tan ottomans, which are really nice. So if you have like a warm toned 
um, living room or bath, bedroom or wherever you want to put an ottoman. These would be perfect. They're really nice and because they're synthetic, it's even better. But all the stuff that is new in the catalogs that I've seen posted on like the Facebook pages or anything, I haven't seen anything like that in my local Kmart. So maybe it's not here. I know they're probably still getting stuff Mommy, in, Mommy, but we used to have I was expecting fish. it. Yes, we used, we used to did, but I was expecting that we were going to see some new stuff that was in the catalog, but I haven't seen any yet. I feel like a section Kmart has definitely stepped up is their mirror section. And as much as it's quite empty, they still do have two mirrors at my local Kmart that are stunning and I love them so much. If I needed another mirror in my house, I would definitely grab both of these, but I don't need another mirror in my house. So I'm not grabbing either of those, but I really want them both. So they have this really cool mirror. It's like an oval, but it has this like little bit at the bottom that is not a mirror. I don't know what it's used for, but it's a really nice mirror. It's just like that inside. So it's kind of cool. And then they've got this really pretty arch mirror, which I love arches. Um, and I would really get this for my house, but I don't have a spot for it. So it's going to stay here for someone else who's going to want it. I really want it. It's really pretty, but I just don't have a spot. Last time I came, all the cushions were out of stock. Every single cushion was gone and they've got a couple. Well, they've got all of these. All the normal plain cushions are back and they've got a few like patterned ones. They've got a couple new ones. Never seen this one before. And I've never seen this one before, which is actually really cute, but I don't have those colors in my house. So that's staying there, but I really do like it. That one's cute too. But like I said, still some stock missing. So all the new cushions that I saw in the catalog aren't here just yet, but hopefully they're going to be very soon. Hopefully by the next time I do another one of these, they're all here. Found my first thing that I saw in the new catalog and these are the module war shelves. They're kind of cool because you can make all different shapes and they're not expensive. They're only $19. So for a couple of boxes, you could make a really cool shelving unit that is customized to your liking. First thing in my trolley is this little stool. I've actually been hunting for one of these for our bath. And they're only $13. What my idea is, is having it in the corner and putting a plant on top of it. So that's what I wanted. Frederick wants this little couch. Is it comfy and cozy? Is it comfy and cozy? Yeah, come on. What cushions do they have? They have a whale. What's that no. one? Do you um, know what that one is? No. A sloth. sloth. What's this one? Uh, a rhino. A rhino. What's that one down there? This one? Yeah. It's a... Uh, alpaca. Alpaca. So the kids section is actually popping today. They've got all new sheets in here. These are some dinosaur ones. They've got galaxy ones. They've also got these real cool safari ones which i think are really cute they've just got like lions and cheetahs on them and it's reversible which i really love but we They're don't need costume. <gasps> it's a shark blanket frederick yes. you lay in the shark and it looks like you've been eaten by it yeah that's so cool but yeah this section is really like they've got a lot of stuff compared to what it was last time it's actually looking really nice. It's always funny when someone walks past while you're holding a camera. <laughs> Fun times being a vlogger sometimes. We just had a quick walkthrough of the boys section. I'm just gonna say quickly, my Kmart has gone from not being busy to being hectic as hell within two seconds. So I quickly just walked through the boys section just then and nothing's jumping out of me at, at me for Frederick. So I'm leaving the boys section and I'm coming to have a look at the baby section now that I have Theodore I tend to look in here obviously because I now have a baby um, but nothing looks new it all looks pretty much all the same as what it did last time I was here
Okay, so that were just a couple of my favorite pieces in the baby section. We are going to go to the toy section because this little guy down here has been asking me to go to the toy section and he's been very good. So we're going to have a little look. I've told him he can have one small thing if he keeps on being a good boy. No, we don't get Nerf guns, darling. I'm not buying you a Nerf gun. I've told you that before. We don't have guns in our house. One section I'm very pleased with my Kmart is the book section. It is very packed and they've brought out so many amazing books lately that I want to go crazy for books because of all the amazing books that they've brought out. Like, I'm so impressed with the book collection. I need to show you some of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. It's all about helping our planet with reducing waste and how we can make our planet last a lot longer. And I'm actually going to grab this. I've had my eye on this one for quite some time. One book that I've actually recently bought was this one. I bought this one for my nephew. It's all things about dinosaurs and then they have like little questions and lift up things about the question on it. So it's a very interactive book for kids. They also have the same version of the book about nature. They've also got the same in a science one and about history if you're more into the visual things without words this book is for you it is just a book based on pictures all about beautiful illustrations so if you're all about that this is definitely a book for you i also like this book called feelings i love this book because it's all about um different people around the world and I am loving all of these books here about um, empowered people that have lived through the time. There is uh, females and there's also a bunch of males up there. But I'm only going to grab the one book today. So now that we've gone through the book section, I need to go have a look at the toy section. I remember when it was like the hit of quarantine and self-isolation back in March. This was completely empty and I couldn't believe it that it was completely empty. I had never seen it empty before. But it's all back. All the puzzles are back, all the board games are back and I feel great. And I feel like we need some because we missed out on the opportunity when uh, the shop, the shelf was empty because everyone thought they need board games at the same time. I thought I needed board games. Of course, Frederick found the section with all the Nerf guns, but we are a no Nerf gun household. But on the other side, I really like everything that's on this side. I've never seen these before, but they're really cute. They've got stepping stones, they've got hurdles, they've got balancing cushions. They've also got these. These are really cute for handstands, so you can teach your kid how to do a handstand. They've also got balancing buckets, which I remember these as a kid. Frederick says he has them at school, so I think I want to get him a set because they're really cute. Shopping is done, and we are now in the car. I think I did actually really well with Kmart today. I didn't look at everything just because my Kmart was extremely packed by the end of a little trip because it is school holidays i forgot it was school holidays even though i know it's school holidays because my child in the back but i forgot how busy it is in school holidays i am now that mum that has a child in school holidays and i dread school holidays as much as i'm really happy having my son home and i love having his company over the next 14 days or however long it is i dread going to the shops when it's school holidays but anyway we did it we spent a little bit money i didn't spend as much as i thought i was going to which makes me really happy but we are going to go home and i am going to show you all what i purchased today while we're at kmart so it's a little later now we are back at home and i want to share with you all what i got from kmart today i didn't get that much but it is enough to show you a haul. So the first thing are these balancing buckets. This box is completely empty at the moment because we've already taken this out and we've put them together and they're currently out on our lawn now. But I got these little balancing buckets. I thought they were a really cute idea. Get Frederick out of the house a little bit more. He needed more outdoor toys than indoor toys anyway. And I thought that these were a really good idea, not only to play with, but help with balancing and just his eye coordination. So 
I really like these and I'm glad I picked them up. I think they were only about $16. Next thing I got was this thing. You'll probably be wondering what this is, but this is just called a pot stand in black. And I didn't have this in my trolley to begin with. I had the white and wood um, mini stool from the kids section in my trolley and I decided to put that back and replace it with this. And I've already got one of these in my house. I'm using it for a pot stand too. And I really like it where it is at the moment. And I thought that this would look really nice in the bathroom because we do have accents of black in the bathroom. So that's why I got this and not the other one. Plus this one can hold a bigger plant. So next was this book and this is called Your Planet Needs You. And it is a book to help reducing plastic and understanding waste. All the other things I got are in this bag and after showing you that book I feel really bad for getting this bag but I know this bag is reusable and we use these again and again and again we don't throw them out so I got a couple of things in this bag first of all I got a measuring cup like I said we broke ours so I decided not to get a plastic one I wanted to get something a little bit more sturdy so I went with a glass um, plus I just didn't want to have a plastic one in my house because, like I said, the book before, yeah, I don't want plastic. So I will always get glass if it's possible. If it's a reusable thing that we use in our house, I will always tend to get glass. I also ended up getting two tops for myself. So I've been needing to get some long sleeve tops because it is winter here. And not all the time I want to put on a sweater or a jumper or just a long um graphic tee and sometimes I want to look a little bit nicer and wear clothes that are a little bit tight fitting. I decided to get some long sleeve ribbed t-shirts so I ended up getting this black one first. I did get it in a size 14. I probably could have gone to a size 12 but I didn't want to try them on so I just risked it, risked it and went to a size 14. I definitely am in between a 12 and a 14 at the moment. So I just decided to go for a 14. If it's too big, then it's okay. But I would rather it too big than too small. So I also, I also got a long sleeve top in a camel color. But this one has a higher neckline. This one is more up at the neck where the other one is more scooped. So I got this one too. I also got this in a 14 for the same reasons. It is also a ribbed material. I really love this color. I think it's very flattering on so many different skin tones. So I wanted to get it for myself. Plus it would go with a lot more clothes than a black one could. Because sometimes I need a lighter color top to go with certain pieces that are going with the bottom. So that is why I grabbed this top. And the last things I grabbed were, yes, definitely an impulse thing. But my ones in my kitchen need to re be replaced so incredibly badly. So I ended up getting some new tea, coffee and sugar canisters for our kitchen bench. We have three white ones at the moment and they're just really gross. So... I saw these and I really liked the pattern of them. Plus, I really liked that they were black. We have white tiles in our kitchen and I just thought that this would be a nice um, bounce off of the white because everything else in our kitchen is black other than the canisters. The canisters are white and they kind of just blend in with the tiles. So that is why I got these ones. So I ended up just getting three of them. So they're three of the exactly same ones but like I said it was a very small haul today and I didn't buy that much but I feel really great that I didn't go overboard and just buy things that I didn't really need other than but I hope you all enjoyed seeing us go shopping at Kmart today and seeing what I picked up today while we were there if you want to see more Kmart videos please let me know in the down in the comments and maybe give me some idea of more Kmart videos that you would like to see but until next time, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye.